Hey everyone, so I'm back again with another video. This time around I have another entry in my updated NES collection series. Uh, this is part 2 featuring my first set of cartridge only games, uh, all in alphabetical order. And the first game that I'm going to be starting out with is 720. Uh, this here is just like a very basic skateboarding game, not that enjoyable really. Moving on from there we have The Adventures of Dino Ricky, followed by Steinax, a pretty okay action platformer kind of situation going on there. Next is Back to the Future, a very, very not playable game, uh, followed by Baseball, a classic uh, black label release. Then we have Baseball Stars, which is a slightly better baseball game uh, by SNK. And there are a couple other ones in this series as well. Next up is Batman the Video Game, the first one there. Followed by Bubble Bobble, which is definitely one of my favorite series. Uh, definitely Bubble Bobble and uh, Super Busta Move, uh, some of my most favorite uh, games, even though they are, of course, two different kinds of games, it's still uh, sort of started with the same characters. Uh, and of course, that one there is more of an action platformer. Uh, next up is Burger Time, again, sort of platformer right there. Lots and lots of platformers on the NES, as many of us uh, do know. Uh, Captain Skyhawk, a game that I actually had as a kid as well, and uh, for, could, like I just could not figure out how to even. Uh, do anything in this game. In some games I just really, really sucked at them. Next is Cabal, and this one here, I might remove it from my collection just because it doesn't really work all the time, so I should probably look into getting another copy of that. Next is Castlevania 3 Dracula's Curse. Uh, I personally, I'm not the biggest fan of this Castlevania game. Uh, I have played Super Castlevania 4 or Castlevania 4. I forget the the one on the Super Nintendo, and I have played Castlevania 2 as well on the NES. And I have to say, at least in the NES games, I do kind of like uh, Castlevania 2 rather than 3. But I'm in the minority of that opinion, at least. Uh, next up is Commando, followed by. Uh, Cyber Stadium series Base Wars. Uh, have not really played this game. I I put it in at first just to see what it's like, and then just never, ever, ever bothered to play that again. Next is Dash Galaxy in the Alien, sorry, Alien Asylum, followed by Demon Sword. Then we have Destination Earth Star. And then we have the infamous Dick Tracy that is just, it has playable segments uh, that are still not that playable, uh, where you do get to sort of go out and actually platform, but the driving segments, of course, are just a whole other mess to get into. Next up is Donkey Kong Classics, and... Uh, yeah, according to the label here, because I honestly could not remember, uh, it includes Donkey Kong and Donkey Kong Jr. Uh, available all in one cartridge right there. And of course, Donkey Kong was a classic, but it's been ported to just about everything. Next is, well, as I almost dropped the sleeve, uh, Double Dragon 3. Definitely not the best Double Dragon, but still interesting uh, to get around to play. Uh, next up is Dragon's Lair, and honestly, of all the different consoles that you can play Dragon's Lair on, the NES probably isn't the one to go to. Uh, even on other sort of home computer ports in the 80s, way more playable than this here. Uh, this, by far, just it doesn't look good, and the main reason why you're going to play Dragon's Lair is to see it, like, have the visual experience of it rather than just the gameplay alone because it really is one of those games where the whole point of it is just to sort of watch what happens and press a, bu a button randomly uh, even though there is a lot of just sort of quick time events throughout this entire game. Moving on from that we have Dragon Warrior, the first one, the RPG that uh, many, 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 many people own. 
and I still even have the price tag on there for $2.99. Don't know quite why. Uh, following up Dragon Warrior, we have Dragon Spirit, the new legend. Uh, I have not actually played that game yet, so can't really say much for that. Uh, next, a uh, great puzzle game, one that many people have played and many people should have. If they do not own this, go out, buy a copy. Dr. Mario, uh, it's available on Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, even uh, a 3DS download and a couple of other ways of getting it as well. Highly recommend it, very fun to play that. And the last game that I'm going to show you guys in this video is just classic NES Golf. Uh, just another Black Label, uh, what's it called, sports series release. Uh, in total, I think the initial release was about like uh, a dozen or so games uh, in the Black Label sort of series, the first set of releases. Uh, but yeah, Golf, probably not the best one to start out with of those original games. Uh, but yeah, that's it. That's part two of my NES collection update series. As always, leave comments in the comment section below. Anything you'd like to say, comments, questions, suggestions, ideas, anything at all, and I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Check out my Facebook, Twitter, and website. They're all linked in the description below, and also linked in the description below is a link to my 500 subscribers contest. Check that out as well if you'd like, and that's it. See ya.